is the future. Welcome to the future. Back to the future. Look to the future. We are the future. The future is now. Hi, this is Peter with HTP America. Today we have the new Invertic 251 and we're talking about AC welding. AC welding has been around for a long time. Back in the days, so you had the transformer with the sinus wave and the continuous high frequency. Then you had the inverter machines with a square wave where you only needed high frequency to start the arc, or you could sometimes even lift start the arc. Now with this new generation machine, you have multiple different wave shapes. You have a square wave, you have an advanced square wave that is almost like a sine wave and the triangular wave to reduce your heat input. And I'm going to show you how to select all these waveforms and what you can do is you can mix and match your wave shape on the positive side, the cleaning side, and on the negative side, the penetration side, to fully customize your AC TIG welding experience and get the best results out of your machine. Let's get into this and see what we need to do. So first of all, we're going to stay in TIG 2T with a pedal. Then we're going to go to AC and we say standard, not pulsed. And then here you see there is your square wave waveform, like the classic gold standard for inverter machines. Then you have a um, soft wave. It's almost like a sine wave, not really. Then you have a triangled waveform for less heat input but better penetration. And now what you can do is you can mix and match these waveforms. You can pick a different wave shape on the positive side, the cleaning side, then on the negative side, the penetration side. And this way you can dial it in where the soft wave is a little bit less noisy and a little bit less harsh, more pleasant to weld, where the square wave has the best performance probably, the triangular waveform has the less heat input. So now you can pick and choose for your cleaning here and then for your penetration, which wave shapes and forms you want. When you find something that you like, press the encoder to select it. High frequency start with a pedal. And now you have your screen set up right here where you see your waveform up here and you see your frequency, starting amperage on the bottom, maximum pedal here and your balance. To make adjustments, just you see this little line right under here. Right now you're on the maximum pedal. If you press it, it moves to frequency. If you press it again, it goes to balance. So we're going to make three different welds on three different pieces, all the same length, the same temperature from the same cut from the same piece of stock. First, we're going to go into 2T pedal. Then we're going to go to AC. We go to standard welding. We're going to pick a square wave on both sides. High frequency start. This is basically how most regular standard welding machine would be set up. We will be running about two inches of bead without any filler and we try to do this at the same speed every time and we're gonna do this with three different settings. This is our first setting. So this is your standard AC like you're used to it. Regular frost line melts, works, everything is good. The second time we do this, we will do AC standard and we're using the triangular wave on both sides and we will see if we get less heat input. In every case we will be maxing out the pedal here. So on the triangle wave shot here, on the arc, on the triangle weld, as you can see in the arc shot, it takes me five or ten seconds to finally get this puddle going. And then as I am moving forward at about the same speed, it's a real narrow bead that just barely melts into the surface of this material. Our third scenario is going to be mix AC standard 
and we're gonna use the square wave because it has the most heat input, high frequency, and then we're gonna use we're gonna use a 35% um, DC amount in in the AC wave, and see how that affects the heat and the penetration on that same material. So here's our AC mix. The puddle forms instantaneously. It's a lot less frosting around it, cleaning action. And you can see this thing gets hot, out of control, large. At the same speed, I'm almost blowing a hole in it. The puddle really sinks and a crack develops down the center. Okay, what we have here is your regular AC square wave weld, 40 hertz, 75% EN, 110 amps on some eighth inch material. And you can tell this is without any filler rod. Yes, there's a crater crack. I didn't taper off. I didn't dab any filler in there. But to look at this, it started out all right. It's pretty flat. There's, other than the crater crack, there's no real defects here. You have a little bit frosting, edging, cleaning zone around this here. And then up here, you have your triangular wave. It took me 10, 12 seconds to just circle the same spot to even get going. And as I was attempting to do the same travel speed as here, you see how the bead is like less than half the width. You have a bunch of cleaning around it, but you don't really have any actual penetration into the material. It just barely liquefied the surface layer of this aluminum. Here you have your mixed AC. Uh, again, all the same parameters, 110 amps, 110 amps, 110 amps, 40 hertz, 40 hertz, 40 hertz, 75% penetration. Here you have with 35% DC mixed into it. The puddle formed instantaneously. Um, the frosting, the heat of the, the uh, cleaning zone around it is super small. And as the material was heating up, because it was not preheated after about the first three quarter inch here, it got so hot that the material sinks below the surface. If you look at it from the side, which we're gonna do in a second, you'll see how it sunk below the surface. And it got so hot that there is actually a defect, a, a crack a heat crack, a stress crack in the material here from the excessive heat that was used. I would have had to back up the pedal. I intentionally did not for this test to see what this would do. So now as we look at this, this is our penetration on the, on the regular bead. And yes, it created a crack on the back right here too. It was still like just a smidge too hot. This was so way cold that it didn't even do anything here. And this guy here just totally annihilated everything. I mean, the crack goes all the way to the backside. And when you compare this even to the regular AC weld, you can tell this is just so much bigger and so much more power. So instead of using helium, you can use the AC mix feature to weld thicker material with 100% argon and get about 300 amps worth with the felt power out of your 250 amp machine. Here you can see how much that puddle actually was sinking in. That's a solid 30 seconds that it's sinking in. That's how hot it was. All the other ones are flat. So this is how you weld AC with different wave shapes with the new Invertec 251. Thanks for watching.